Hey, thanks for joining me for a toadstool and fairy dust reading of the book, What If You Had an Animal Nose? by Sandra Markle. Creatively read and adapted by Miss Jill. Hey, be sure to subscribe. It's the best way to support my channel, and it's free. What if one day when you woke up and looked in the mirror, the nose on your face wasn't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's nose took its place? If you had a taper snout, you could catch a home run ball, even with your hands full. A taper. A taper is a plant-eating animal with a very handy nose. Its nose moves and bends to grab leaves off of branches or push fruit into the taper's mouth. A taper's nose is joined with its upper lip. It bends and moves so well because it's made of muscle. If you had an elephant's trunk, you wouldn't need to go to a water park in the summer. An elephant's nose may be the most useful nose on the planet. It's so long and special, it even has its own name, a trunk. An elephant's trunk can sniff smells from lots of directions, even from up high. It can lift and carry something as heavy as a big log. An elephant also uses its trunk to pull in water as much as two gallons at a time. Then it sprays a drink in its mouth or gives itself a shower. If you had a grizzly bear's nose, you could sniff out all your favorite goodies and only trick or treat at the best houses. A grizzly bear's nose is packed with smell sensors. No wonder this bear is a champ at tracking down food, sometimes from over a mile away. It needs to find and eat all the food it can before winter. That's when the grizzly bear goes into a deep sleep called hibernation and usually doesn't eat at all. If you had a warthog's nose, you would never need anything but your nose to build a sand castle. A warthog's nose isn't pretty, but it is the perfect food finder. First, the warthog uses its strong sense of smell to sniff out the underground roots and bulbs that it likes to eat. Then the warthog rolls its nose around to dig into the soft soil with some help from its tusks. Finally, the warthog uses its nose to lift dirt out of the hole until it finds the roots or bulbs to munch on. If you had a star-nosed mole's nose, you could find a midnight snack without turning on the kitchen light. A star-nosed mole is a small burrowing animal that uses its nose to find dinner in the dark underground and sometimes even underwater. The star-nosed mole uses its nose to smell, but it also uses it to feel around for food. Its nose has 22 fleshy rays around its nostrils. They are always moving. And quick as a blink, the mole knows if the nose touches food, like a worm or an insect. If you had a giant anteater's nose, you could go scuba diving without a snorkel. What looks like a giant anteater's long nose is really its upper and lower jaws together. Its nose is on the tip of this long tube. The nose is perfect for poking into hard to reach places to sniff out yummy insects like ants and termites. A giant anteater also uses its long nose to snorkel when it goes swimming so that it can breathe while it's underwater. If you had a hammerhead shark's nose, you would always know the best places to fish. A hammerhead shark's nose is only for smelling, not for breathing. The shark swings its head side to side, forcing water into its nostrils near each eye. Because its nostrils are so far apart, the shark can tell if a fishy scent is stronger to the left 
or to the right, and then it tracks it down for dinner. A wild animal's nose could be cool for a while, but you don't use your nose to spray water or to dig in the ground. You don't need your nose to catch flies or to be a snorkel while you're swimming underwater. So, if you could keep a wild animal's nose for more than a day, what kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The nose on your face will always be a people's nose. It will be what you need to breathe and to sniff all the scents around you. It's a perfect place to rest glasses if you need them to see better. Best of all, your nose is just what you need to look like you. The end.